I'm Stephen Beresford and I am the writer of Pride. Stephen, it's fantastic to have you tonight. Obviously Pride nominated in so many categories. Um, how much of a, a vindication is it, not just for you as filmmakers, but for the two communities that this film celebrates? Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, for 20 years, actually, um, I was told this story in the early 90s when I was about 21, 22, and um, I would tell people the story and say, I've got this fantastic idea for a feature film. And, and they'd say, what is it about? And I'd say, vegan, lesbian activists and a coal mining dispute. And, you know, amazingly, they would always say, no, I don't think that's going to fly. So finally to get it made and then for, for, to have these awards nominations is, is a huge vindication and, and as you say not just for us but for the the people involved you know for them it's uh they, one of them said to me at one point we thought this story would die with us um so the fact that it's it's out there in the world i think means a, a huge amount to them what do you think audiences uh, and storytellers get from independent cinema they perhaps don't from mainstream kind of commercial blockbuster fare it's, I suppose it's the voice, you know, the voice of an independent film, of an authored voice. Um, independent films are free to be different and unusual, and we're free to look at all kinds of subjects that, that you know, um, studios are less and less able to do. Um, those big studios are more and more having to concentrate on narrower and narrower um, markets and narrower and narrower definitions of film. And the independent filmmaker can make any film that his imagination or her imagination, you know, conjures up.